Today's lesson is reaction balancing by ion electron method or redox reaction method. The reaction is passing hydrogen sulfide gas through acidic potassium permanganate solution. Acid is here, suppose sulfuric acid. First of all, let's write the reaction of hydrogen sulfide and acidic potassium permanganate. Hydrogen sulfide Potassium permanganate Sulfuric acid and the products are Sulfur which deposited at the bottom of the beaker then manganese sulfate plus water and potassium sulfate. These are the products of this reaction. Now let's try to find which one is oxidant and which one is reductant here. hydrogen sulfide here sulfide ion converted to sulfur which deposited at the bottom of the beaker that means here sulfide ion donates electron and electron donor is reductant so hydrogen sulfide that means sulfide ion is reductant here then potassium permanganate here manganate ion permanganate ion converts to manganese sulfate that means manganese ion in permanganate ion oxidation number of manganese is plus 7 here oxidation number is plus 2 that means permanganate ion gains electron in this reaction and electron acceptor is oxidant so in this reaction hydrogen sulfide is reductant and potassium permanganate is oxidant now let's try to balance the reaction step by step step one oxidation and reduction half reactions Equation number one, sulfide ion from hydrogen sulfide donates two electrons and turned into sulfur. That means sulfide ion undergoes donation of electrons, which is known as oxidation half reaction equation number two permanganate ion accepts electron and convert it to manganese ion here there are four oxygen atoms to make water with these four oxygen atoms eight protons are to be added here then we will get four molecules of water 
eight protons are added to make water with this oxygen. This is addition of electrons. Here, oxidation number seven, and here, oxidation number two. So, permanganate ion accepted five electrons here. This is reduction half reaction. We got oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction. Let's see the next step. Step two is number of electrons is to be equalized. In equation one, we see two electrons and equation two, there are five electrons. So step two, balancing electrons and to balance number of electrons equation 1 is multiplied by 5 and equation 2 is multiplied by 2 then we get 5 sulfide ion minus 10 electrons on the right side we will get 5 sulfur atoms this is equation number 3 equation number 4 is 2 is multiplied by 2 2 permanganate ion plus 10 electrons plus 16 protons on the right side we will get 2 manganese ion plus 8 water molecules now let's add up equation number 3 and equation number 4 the next step is adding up equation number 3 and equation number 4 step 3 adding up equation number 3 and equation number 4 on the left side we will get 5 sulfide ion these 10 electrons will cut these 10 electrons plus 2 permanganate ion plus 16 protons on the right side we will get 5 sulfur atoms plus 2 manganese ion plus 8 molecules of water this is ionic equation of redox reaction now the next step is supplying required number of visitor ions or spectator ions step 4 supply of required number of spectator ions supply of required number of visitor ions or spectator ions here spectator ions are potassium and sulfate this is obtained from hydrogen sulfide so it will be 5 hydrogen sulfide so before hydrogen sulfide we got 5 plus Permanganate ion will combine with potassium ion to form potassium permanganate. Before permanganate ion, 2. So here there will be 2 plus 16 protons. 
out of 16 protons here we got 10 protons already so left 6 protons that means 3 sulfuric acid molecules that supplies 6 protons here 6 protons here 10 protons total 16 protons on the right side we will get 5 sulfur before sulfuric acid 3 here 5 sulfur atoms so before sulfur we got 5 plus manganese ion will form manganese sulfate before manganese here 2 so manganese sulfate before this there will be 2 plus 8 molecules of water and another compound will be formed that is potassium sulfate before water coefficient is 8 so coefficient is 8 here now the reaction is completely balanced by redox reaction method or ion electron method here three sulfate radicals here one and here two so total three sulfates five sulfur here five sulfur ten hydrogen atoms here six total 16 hydrogen atoms here 16 hydrogen atoms so the reaction is completely balanced this is all about reaction balancing by redox reaction method or ion electron method no more thank you very much